Horizon, an American Saga, Part 1, is directed by Kevin Costner, written by Kevin Costner and John Baird. It is a 2024 epic Western film and runs for 181 minutes long. It had a budget of $50 million and had a box office gross of $34.3 million. This film is considered a box office failure and a disappointment. Appointment. However, 2024 was supposed to be a big year for this movie because it was supposed to come out June 28th, which it did, Chapter 1 at the movies, and then August 16th, Chapter 2. So less than eight weeks later, but it didn't do that. Now, Chapter 1 premiered at the 77th Annual Cannes Film Festival on May 19th, 2024, and Chapter 2 will now premiere at the 81st Venice International Film Festival with a premiere date in theatrical theaters later on in 2024 or 2025. Uh, chapter 3 has already started principal photography in May of 2024 with a fourth chapter, a fourth film in development. So it's a four-part mega series by Kevin Costner talking about the American West and it is the first installment in this tutorial film series and features an ensemble cast which if you stay with me I will read it all out it's Kevin Costner, Sienna Miller, Sam Worthington, Giovanni Rubisi, Abby Lee, Michael Rooker, Danny Houston, Luke Wilson, Isabel Furman, Jeff Fahey, Will Patton and the list goes on and on the aspect of this film is something that you haven't seen before. You know Kevin Costner for Dances with Wolves. You know him for Open Range, The Postman. He's directed some amazing, phenomenal films. But this is up there as one of the films where you say, okay, is it on par with his previous films that he's directed and even co-wrote or even produced out of his own pocket and I will say it's not. The movie does drag on at times and certain elements but it's the acting that really, 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 I want to say, how do I put this, really brings you in. Every single actor that's in this movie has a certain amount of screen time. And when they're on screen, you don't see them again for maybe until near the end of the movie, so to speak. Uh, I did not see this in theaters. I saw this video on demand on Amazon Prime Video. It was up there, figured why not rent it, and I did, and I was happy I did because I can just watch a three-hour movie in the comfort of my own home. Yes, I did want to see this in theaters, but after learning that the box office was a failure and disappointment, I figured let's wait it out, see what happens, and see what they do with the rest of the uh, film series for that matter. The aspect of what this film is, is really, really good. It has that dynamic of Kevin Costner really being in his own film and directing it, which is always great. But then you have Sam Worthington, Giovanni Ribisi, Sienna Miller, Michael Rooker, uh, Danny Houston, who are really keen on their own accord of how they act for, from a script by Kevin Costner. I mean, listen, this is only part one of a four-part series. So you have three more films to go. What more can you do? It did leave it open at the end for a sequel, and you can see that. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, this film got mixed reviews. And the reason being is that I feel like nobody is into Westerns anymore. Nothing like the 50s, 60s of John Wayne, you know, Lee Van Cleef, Lee Marvin, all those interesting Westerns that you had with John Wayne. It's not just there anymore. But it's, hey, listen, it's Kevin Costner. He loves Westerns, and he still has that embodiment of that actor, director, writer who still loves that Hollywood flair for Western films. And this is good. This is what that is. But over the course, I want to say, of the past 20 years, you haven't seen really, really good Western genre films. And it's good to see something like this. The trailers were magnificent, but the movie is very very slow going, very slow going to a point where it doesn't get its point across until a few minutes after you realize that it did get its point across. I love westerns, always love westerns because they're great, they're dynamic, it's fun, it's action, but with this they're focused more so on the story of 
the frontier town of Horizon, the aspect of the Apache, the Western Apache War, and how everything happened between the Civil War, the Manifest Destiny, um, the Santa Fe Trail to Horizon, and the aspect of every single character having their own way, and who the bad guy is, who the good guy is. You think that person is the bad guy, you think this person is the bad guy, but they're good, they're bad. They're bad. It's really fumbling, you know, the ball here a little bit, but I will say the cinematography by J. Michael Moreau is so, so good. Seeing the landscape, the, the aspect of the trees and the mountains, it's just so well done. You don't really get that anymore with a film like this, especially for an epic Western film. Uh, this was a really, really good movie. I just wanted more. And I think we are getting more, but you could have definitely trimmed this down to maybe two and a half hours, I want to say, and then have a director's cut then or a DVD box that just, just gives us 11, 12 hours of Horizon and American Saga tale from Kevin Costner, which I wouldn't mind picking up and watching either. And knowing that a film like this exists is really good. Hoping Chapter 2 gets made, how we see if it you know if it doesn't fail or not and if it goes forward with chapter three and four because i mean you know it's always that first movie that you have to see how it goes and if you make it knowing kevin costner he's still going to make two three and four even though this first one didn't do too good at the box office it might go straight to streaming who knows you never never know for me horizon and american saga part one gets three out of five stars let me know in the comment section below what you thought about horizon and american saga part one did you like it did you not like it what did you think of it what do you think about the aspect of the dynamic of the story the directing the writing the all-star cast who was your favorite actor that played a character in this who's your least favorite character uh do you like that there are going to be four movies in total or do you think that it's one is enough or two is enough and kevin costner should do something else and what is your favorite kevin costner film uh, director, actor, whatever he's been and what is your favorite of his? Let me know in the comment section below. But all the questions I just asked. I'm Mr. Filmstock. Thanks so much for tuning in. And I'll see you all in the next review video.